Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We got a fun one for you today. I've got a little icon here on the left hand side. When I hover over it, it's going to change color. If I scroll up and down the page, as you can see, it's going to stay exactly where it is. And if I click on it, I've got it linked to a section down here. It's going to scroll to this specific section right here. Really easy to do. We're using a little anchor tag to do this today. So let's get started. I've got this open already with my Elementor page builder. Let's just delete the one we've got here. And we'll start from scratch. Now, the first thing we want to do is choose where we actually want this to link to. And you can have it linked to any page or anywhere on the web you want. I'm going to have mine scroll down to a particular section. We did that one last time. Let's perhaps do this one. I'll give it a different background color just so we can discern it from the others. And the style we've got background here, I'm just going to give it a color. Let's make it blue perhaps. When you're happy, just click off of it. And let's go back up to the top now. And I'm going to add a little icon. You can put it wherever you want because I'm going to use fixed positioning for this today. So let's just pop it under this button here. I'm going to go back to the matrix. Here's a little icon. I left click, drag it to where you want it and drop it. Like I say, I'm using fixed position so it doesn't matter where you put it. Don't particularly want a star. So to change it, you can either upload your own SVG or you can go to the icon library. I'm going to maybe search for a question mark because I don't have anything specific for this. I'm going to insert it. And there it is right there. Under the style. I'm going to give it the color we want. Again, let's perhaps use a blue or something like that. Whatever works for you. And just for fun, we'll have it change color when they hover over it to indicate that it's going to do something. So let's hit the hover tab up here. We can choose a different color. Red's fine. Now if I hover over it, it's going to change from blue to red. If you want to, you can change the size of it right here. I'm fairly happy with the way it was, but it doesn't want to be too big, but it certainly wants to be noticeable. If you want to rotate it, you can do so here. I don't particularly want to rotate it. Okay, I'm, like I say, going to use fixed position. Over in advanced here. If we look down, we've got a position right here. I'm going to change it from default to fixed. Now it gives you a little warning right here. that for responsive devices, fixed positioning is not great. Well, if we were using a big text area or something like that, yes, that wouldn't be a good idea. We're just using an icon, so this will actually work fine on all devices. Now, it's popped it up to the top middle there. If we go back to our style, we can choose where we want it, left, right, or middle. I want to put it down at the bottom of my page. So I'm going to have it on the left-hand side. So I'm going to orientate it to the left. It's put it there. Then if we go back to the advanced, we've got an offset here. If we look at the vertical orientation, I want mine to be sort of halfway down this page here at all times. So I'm going to go over here where it says picks. I'm going to left click on the little chevron there. I'm going to use VH for mine, which is viewable height. And I'm going to have it 50% of the viewable height. So if I put a 50 in there, it's going to be halfway down the screen. Now you can adjust this higher or lower any way you want. That's actually going to work for me. And as you can see, when we roll up and down now, it's staying exactly where we want it. Now I do want to put it slightly off the side. I don't want it to be all the way off the side. So we can do that with our horizontal orientation here. Just roll that up. And we want to link it to somewhere. And like I say, you can link this if you want this. Click on this, take them to any page you want. Just put in the page URL. That's over in the content here. You can find the URL right there. But I actually want this to scroll down to that section that we were playing with earlier. And here it is. Now to do that, we need to give this section a CSS ID. So let's click on the little dots in the middle of the pink tab there, take us to the section. You'll always find CSS IDs over in advanced. If we look down here, we've got CSS ID and CSS classes. Make sure you put it in the CSS ID. Now you can call it what you want. 
I'm going to call mine B sec for blue section. That's kind of my shorthand. Like I say, you can call it whatever you want. You've got to make sure that it's unique. There can only be one of these on each page or else that will confuse what we're going to do in a minute. And we're using what they call an anchor tag for this. So we've given it a CSS ID now. If we go back into our little icon there, just click on the icon itself. Now we can link to this specific section by putting a hashtag in. All anchor tags have to have a hashtag. And then the actual name, the CSS ID name that we just gave it, which is BSEC. And that's all we need to do. When they click on that now, it'll take us down to this section. Just like that. Let's save our changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And we'll take a look on the front end to make sure this is going to work. Here we are on the front. There's our little button. If I click on it, as you can see, it scrolls down here. That would take that section to the top normally, but there's no more scroll room. We're all the way down to our footer, so this is as far down as it can go. A great example of doing something with this as well, you could actually make a back to the top button. In fact, let's do that quickly. We'll make a little back to the top button, have it on this side perhaps. So if we go back to the page now, roll up, let's add a new little icon, back to the matrix, grab the icon, drag it, put it where we want it. This time I think let's use an arrow. I want an up arrow. Let's use the filled version. That's fine. I'm going to insert it right there. Make it whatever color you want again. I'm going to use exactly the same, I think. We'll use a blue. And I'll hover. We'll have it red. Fantastic. Now I'm going to put the ID in already. I'm going to give this top section a CSS ID and I'm going to call it, well, top will work fine for me. So I'm going to say hashtag top TOP. I'm going to go into this section now. Remember the little dots. Move it to advanced CSS IDs up here. I'm going to make sure it's got the CSS ID of top. Again, you want to make sure that's unique. Great. And let's put this little icon where we want it. Let's click on the icon. And again, over to advanced, position, fixed. This time I'm gonna to go to style and align it on the right. So it's over this side. Back to advanced to our positioning here. And the vertical offset this time, I want it right on the bottom. So again, I'm gonna put viewable height on VH. I'm going to have mine say, let's try 90. That's not bad. I want to pull it away from the side just a little bit again. So I'm going to do that with a little arrow there. Fantastic. Now they've got a Z index here as well. If you have trouble, let's scroll all the way down this side. We've not got a problem here. It's appearing on top of all of our other sections, which is exactly what we want. But if we were to scroll down and it perhaps disappeared behind one of these sections, you'd want to go in and up the Z index. The way Z index works is higher numbers will always appear on top of lower numbers. So give this a nice high Z index and the thing that you've got a problem with it overlapping, go in there, perhaps into a section, go to advance and make sure it's got a lower Z index. But like I say, we're fine today. So we should be good to go. Let's save draft again or publish if you're ready. And we'll take another look. Okay, well, there's our original one. Let's go down to the bottom of the page. Or to this section. Great. And at the bottom of the page, we can click this one. And it takes us right back to the top. Two little examples of using an icon with fixed positioning to scroll to sections. And of course, if you were building this, you wanted it on all of your pages, you could either save it to your library and add it to each page or build it into your footer. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.